You got to be able to encourage yourself. This is Gail. Okay. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. And we in business. And okay, here we go. So also I can use this as a remote to control the camera when um I guess just yeah you can use uh I can use this to press record and stop recording. But you can hear the difference. Let me show you how this works. The little magnet. So I'm gonna do it right here. So boom. There it is, right there. And then Then I can do like, see this, my seatbelt. I can put it here and then there. It's right there. That is so cool. Like they thought of all the things. Like I'm, oh, that. I just tell you, people are just so gifted. We know that all good and perfect gifts come from the Father of Love. He just be giving some wit, witty invention, inventions, <clears throat> excuse me, and ideas to people. That it's just like, wow, that just makes our lives easier, you know, and sometimes better. Sometimes, you know, it's just be doing too much. But for the most part, I'm here for them that God gives these creative ideas and inventions and stuff too. Uh, but yeah, I'm rambling, so I'm just going to go ahead and get off here and find myself something productive to do until the girls get out of school. So, yeah. I need to do like a whole, I need like an escape. I need like a getaway. I need like a, some just decompressing, some, I don't know. I have a lot on my plate, behind the scenes, um, a lot that's required of me. And I feel drained. I feel drained and decisions and things that I have to do. I don't know, so I'm just, I'm just giving it to God, laying it, just giving it to Him, and praying, believing, and trusting that He will lighten the load, that He will make it <laughs> a little easier, and make this, these things at this time just um, not last long. I guess that's the word to use. But anyway, all right, so I'm gonna get off here. I'll be back. I'm gonna say the same. Okay. Oh, let me turn it off here. Watch this. Okay, here's my nails. They're so pretty. She executed. And I, I told her to do the pinky like this to give it like that almond like to keep the almond shape for the pinky All right, girlfriend, I'm back here at the house. Brought the girls here. They were trying to decide whether they were going to a football game, but Shaman decided she's not going. And which I am thankful for that. I got to run the pubis because <sighs> I'm kind of beefed out. Like, oh, we having beef tonight. And then I'm trying to I'm trying to determine. 
We haven't beef for dinner tonight because Kiki made a Dominican dish last night. It was so good. So I need to go get some more beef for her to make it for everybody else. Because she basically just made it for herself. And then she fixed me a plate. But um, I got to run to Publix. Oh, goodness. I'm out of it. I still got my house slippers on. Let me go get my shoes. Girl. Tripping. I wasn't able to get my feet done. Because she had somebody that came in that popped in to get a nail change. So I told her I'll just come back probably Monday. I never had my feet done by her. So I'm kind of curious how she do feet. So I think I'm going to um, just wait and get my feet done on white. But I know I can't. I mean on Monday. Because I don't think she said she may not be there. She's not going to be there tomorrow. But she may be there on Sunday. So maybe even sun maybe Sunday or Monday. But, oh, no, we don't have to do something about this. I need me some new bras. I need to go to, um, let me know in the comments down below where a sister can find some good, good bras from. Like, I've gotten bras from Target, like, different places, but I haven't found any that just, like, that I can, like, just, you know, be loyal with. Like, I think the last time I had Victoria's Secret, I know they do your fitting but it's been a minute since I've done that. So I was thinking about doing that. Or maybe I need to pop in like JCPenney, Macy's somewhere. But your girl needs some new bras. I can I can use some new underwear because it's good to, I like to have different underwear for my like, when I'm on that, when it's that time of the month, I have panties for that. And then I have my other panties, you know. The different categories of panties. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me show you. No, 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 no. Oh, so I'm sorry. I hope that um, I know in that other clip that I, the first clip I did, I think my AC was blowing too loud, and it was messing up the audio a little bit. So I apologize for that. So hopefully you can hear me clearer and better because I do have the mic um, connected. Let's see. Okay, so yeah. Let me put on my seatbelt and get going. I'm still playing around with my camera, my new camera. And I'll be using it mainly for a while because I want to get used to it and figure it out and stuff. I was watching a whole... Um, like video lesson on it last night <laughs> but it just be so much that you got to watch it a few times to kind of get it all and then of course to use it so i know some of my footage is like flipped to the other side because i had the selfie something on and then instead of you seeing me on this side you saw me on that side like the inverted look so it's cool for when you want to have that like mysterious like incognito vibes going on where things you have things inverted um, intentionally. So I like the, the concept of that. But um, I do have it currently on my the same tripod that I use for my other cameras. It's the heavy duty one that I told you about and I linked it in the video so I know someone in the comments I didn't link it at first but someone in the comments reminded me and so I did go back and link it it's very sturdy it's very good um it's just that when how I have mine hooked up is that the device is like upside down and I haven't had a problem with that um especially this one because it just I don't know it just works and then it depends on your dashboard as far as like my dashboard seems like it's very low not the dashboard but my windshield and the dashboard is like that not too much clearance so i have to like work with what i got but i'm um going to be mounting it like in different places to give some different cinematic uh views and stuff like that so yeah anyway i don't want to so I'm going to get off of here and next time you see me, I'll probably be in Publix if I pull you out. If not, it'll be later. Lord say the same. 
but how about girl i am liking my nails kiki just said oh yeah um this shape looks better on you she uh i think it looks better on me because my fingers majority of the time well not majority of the time but a lot of times my fingers look like wider like fatter i'll say and sometimes they have that like interesting look where they look really skinny for whatever reasons i like to change it up switch it up sometimes i just get bored um i'm not i'm not like a, i'm not bored with my french like i i like me a good pink and white i rock with pink and white like heavy really really hard and i don't never really get bored of but sometimes i like to switch it up and like like i don't really do a whole lot of crazy designs this can pass for a classy and elegant because it still has that french look and so that the designs are staying in that family of colors if you know what i mean like it stays in that sphere of the pink and white so and that just it just jazz it up you know jazz it up a little bit if you want you know, if you want that classy, elegant look of the French, the pink and white, and you just want to add a little fun, jazz it up, you know, razzle dazzle to it, then yeah, I thought it was so cute. So I can do like this. I used to do different designs way, way back in my less wiser years, but now I like to stick with, you know, the simplicity. And so, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hop over here and concentrate, focus on the road, and I'll get back with you in a few. Okay, I just arrived to Publix, but just real quick, real quick. Do you know, girlfriend, friend boy, that God is good despite what we may be going through on a day-to-day -day basis? despite what is coming at us, what's coming for us, who's coming for us, who's coming at us, despite all those things. Uh oh, I'm just spitting out my mouth. <laughs> God, it just hit me. It's like, no matter how you feel, how I feel, nothing can change the fact that God is good, regardless if he answered your, answered your prayer today or a year later or whenever the case may be. God is good and all the time, all the time, God is good point blank period so i know things be happening and we want to like we want to get mad with god like you know just like we do with our earthly parents if you still have them here um just like our kids want to get married with mad with us same thing it's a, it's the same thing but at the end of the day you cannot deny all you can do is just humble yourself and remember that God is who he said he is. He is sovereign. He's good whether you acknowledge it or not. Because, <laughs> you know, he does not change. And at the end of the day, you just got to just get over it. Whatever it is that's causing you to feel the way you feel, it's just, it is what it is. But God is still do his praises, his, his honor, his glory, his reverence, his respect his you know love his adoration like all of the things he is do that because he is so he is god and all by himself he is god he is the alpha the omega which is the beginning the end he is the creator of everything he is the god most high he's just you know it's, it's just not enough words to describe him you know and so uh you, I, for me, I pull, I, I go back to those times where I've seen or remembered God doing something great and mighty in my life, whether whether it happened suddenly, like whatever. I just experiences, experiences that I've had with Him. It reminds me. It keeps me. It pulls me back in whenever my flesh want to try to go somewhere and do something crazy or say something crazy. I remind myself of those times in the past when God came through, when he showed up and showed out, when he said, not today, <laughs> or no longer, like, this ends here, this stops now. Like, I remember those times where he, you know, just came through. I remember his grace and his mercy and his long suffering. 
I remember my experiences with him like that you have to you have to draw from the wells of salvation like you have to like stir up yourself in your most holy faith to stir up the gifts of God within you like ooh. oh yes oh, when I was was that yesterday yeah yesterday we had a time um, the Holy Spirit was present. Well, the Holy Spirit is always present. I don't know why we like to say, "Oh, the Holy Spirit showed up." Blah blah. blah. I understand what that kind of what they kind of mean, but if you, um, wherever you go, and the Holy Spirit is in you, the Holy Spirit is always there. But I understand like the maybe the manifestation of the Holy Spirit because He show Himself or um, it's more evident than at other times. So I understand what they be saying and what. You know, we say when we say that, but yes. So, even though things may not be like you want them to be at the time, you just have to. I just want to encourage somebody, encourage somebody today. I just want to encourage you, you know, encourage yourself in the Lord because you're not going to always have somebody to come with that the right word at the right time. Sometimes that happens, but not always. And you got to be able to encourage yourself to keep you, to keep your mind. Because it's a terrible thing to lose your mind. And sometimes things will try to cause you to lose your mind. But we know that's the enemy. And uh, so we got to know how to encourage ourselves in the Lord, to stir ourselves up, and to get out of slumps, get out of, you know, loady bars, get out of whatever it is that um has you somewhere where you shouldn't be and keep you longer than you need to be or want to stay so yeah all right so that's my tasha talk for the day okay <laughs> that's funny let me tell you something that's really funny or maybe it's like psychotic i don't know but I always come in here since they got these buggies. I always try to find or reach for one of the black buggies. For some reason, I I like them better. Oh wow, this one's new. I haven't seen this one before. The pomegranate blueberry try this and it's three for ten so I'm gonna get two of them I'm sure it's good and then I'll grab a this one because I like this one yeah. I was gonna get some coleslaw but they don't look too good well like they've been sitting here for a minute It's August 11th, but they don't look, it doesn't look really fresh. So I'm gonna leave that. So whenever I get shrimp from Publix, if they don't have the wild caught fresh, then I get these. But I prefer the ones at Whole Foods. But you can see it's um, the green wise, but it says wild caught. And these are raw shell on, so I still have to divine them. But these other ones, if it doesn't say wild caught, then it's like farmed. Like those are farmed. Okay, I double back. I found one at the back that looks better. I got three of my favorite waters. This is my favorite water at the moment. It's Saratoga. They have a sparkling one too. I drink that one as well, but I just got steel because I already have sparkling at home. So I got three of these bottles. They're three for six. And this one is $6 for the four pack. So I like to have um, both on hand. I came to see if they have my favorite cookies on sale, but they don't. So I'm going to get one anyway. we we'll get this one. All of them are good. Well, we haven't had the sugar cookie, but we've had the, cram the oatmeal cranberry and these. And they're both really good.
she forgot she had all the paper. That is crazy. You already paid for the order. All right, you too. Y'all have a good one. You too. How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing pretty good. It's really good. They even sell it at um, some of the restaurants I go to, like the more upscale ones. Mm -hmm. Did you want any help out, ma'am? Oh, no, thank you. And then normally the issue with like uh, normal water with water is that it's plastic. So yeah. Whenever it gets hot, you have like, you know, you have bits of plastic in there and then you have lead and stuff. And right. It's kind of weird. Mm hmm. But. Oh, the avocados. this come through here. Yeah, that's the organic ones. Oh, that's probably mine. <laughs> it's funny to think that organic costs more now. Right. Yeah. It's um, it's always been that way as far as I you know, except for back back in the day. But as long as I've been buying it organic for the USDA, because it costs them to get that extra certification. So there's other things that are organic, but they don't they don't pay for the certification. Thank you, you too. I need to clean out my trunk. I have like stuff in here that, well, everything in here, I guess pretty much should be in here. It's just, I need to uh, straighten it up. I guess organize it, organize it better. Girl, I just left Publix. And as I was turning onto the street to go to the light to turn to go to my house, thank you, Holy Spirit, thank you for reminding me I need some avocado oil to fry my shrimp in. Whew. I'm glad I didn't get all the way home to find out that there was no more avocado oil. The avocado oil, which is cheaper at Walmart, I seen it, I stumbled upon it one, um, one day. When I was in there getting Ages Medicine, and you can get a bigger bottle for a better price. And then I got a guilty pleasure. I got some guilty pleasure because it's that time of the month is coming up. And this used to be my favorite um, back in the day. So every now and then I have to like have my little Twix fix. So yeah, your girl had to get her Twix fix. <laughs> Even though I got a better version of like the healthier version of the cookies that you seem to get, the Sweet Lauren's. Um, I have been craving the Twix this week, so I had to go ahead and get it. So I'm going home now, I'm gonna fix my food because I don't know if I told you already, I have not eaten anything today yet, and it is 612. Nahum, chapter one. This message concerning Nineveh came as a vision to Nahum who lived in Elkosh. I just called the Decatur County, DeKalb County Farmer's Market to find out if they have any brim because you know that I went there on Thursday and they didn't have any and they do have some today so. Natasha? I am going to be boiled over there to get the brim. Garage door. Okay girlfriend, I finally made it back here to the house. I got two. Um. 96 rolls of my favorite tissue and then I got these paper towels right here and Scott pick this up I went to a few stores today I got three of the chosen because I went in Walmart just for this um oil this was $13.29 for the 25.4 ounce so that's a really great price I got some 
hot sauce in Louisiana. Some fish fry. We picked up these, pull out these roses right here. So pretty. And of course, I got my brim, my mullet. I got one mullet and like five brim. Then I also picked up some of the shrimp they're from Florida. I'm gonna try these and compare them to the ones that I've been getting. And then I got this watermelon. And of course, it's seeded. Make sure you're getting your fruits seeded. And I think that's pretty much it. I feel like I've been gone. I feel like I've been outside all day. And it drained me, okay? It is hot outside. It is hot. And I was promoting. So I was wearing my shirt today. Come on. It's going on. Okay, here we go. I was wearing my shirt. Hold on. Let me see. Make this thing follow me. Let me stand on me. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-huh. Okay. There we go. I was promoting today, so I had on my shirt and I got some compliments. Got you know, people that said they love the shirt, and so that's the OOTD today. This um, shirt, some black pants, and I had on my white um, Bottega dupes. Not Bottega. What them shoes are called? Hermes. Hermes dupes. And that is pretty much it. They're in here cleaning today. My husband got them cleaning from top to bottom. So that's it for now. I'll come back on here later. Lord say the same. And this is good. I don't know if I told you that already or not. That's really good. So I had drunk half of it last night and I'm finishing the other half right now. I'm going to Put these flowers in here. I need me a better vase. Like all my vases go missing, get broken. Something ends up happening. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me tell you, it was so many people at this cab counter coming up. It was so packed. Like when I got there, they were on number like 66. The number I pulled was 177. I'm like what? Thank God I was I was I had got tired of waiting actually. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired of waiting. I went over and got some um Kiki wanted me to go over and get some pork chops. So I went over and got some of that um, some pork chops and they came back and I was like, oh it'd be nice if somebody would give me that number. Lo and behold, this lady came because I went to this other lady and she was pulling the ticket. And I went to go ask her what number her ticket was. So I was just curious to see from 177 to what her ticket was. Her ticket was some weird J something. And so the lady came between us and she handed her ticket to me and it was number 98. And it was the next number to be called. I was like, thank you, Jesus. So I gave my ticket to the lady who had just pulled the ticket because I didn't know if I was going to make it. I did not know if I was going to make it and as bad as I wanted the brim, I was like, mm, I don't know. It was crazy. Hold on. Okay. What they said to put in here to keep your flowers fresher is it Clorox? I don't know what it was. I'm gonna have to find out. But let's see, we can make these. I want to take this off, make it look prettier. Hold on. Let's see how I don't want them to be too tall. And DK, uh, the Decatur County Farmer, I keep saying Decatur County, it's indicator, but the Decap County Farmers Market, they make some gorgeous floral arrangements there, but they are pricey. They make some beautiful ones, but they are like pricey. It's been a while and we was trying to keep them in here weekly, but we've been falling off. We've been falling off. I'm 
gonna take these leaves off because I want it to be like a clean look. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't even stir up the um stuff yet. You know I'm all over the place. I'm trying to hurry up so I can get out the door. <laughs> I wanted to go somewhere. Don't follow my example right now. This is ghetto. Okay. <laughs> Shama thought these were for her because they were pink. I'm like, girl, everything, every because it's pink don't mean it's for you. Like, she feel like she got to have everything pink. I, I went through that phase with my favorite color, purple. And I felt like um, everything had to be purple. Isn't she sweet? Sometimes it's just, it could be, it could use stands to be a little fuller. But, you know, that all depends on the type of vase you have as well. Okay, I fixed it up. Now it's looking really, really cute. It's looking better. Yeah. Because before it was looking a little sad. Now she looking glad, okay? <laughs> Show you my food. Here we go. My brown, some shrimp. Some fries, some cold sauce. Oh, uh homie. -huh, and I got all I gotta do is add me some seasoning, some of that um um I forget the name of that place, the crab, the crab, juicy crab. Juicy crab. I just have to add some of that and I'm good to go. Get real country. And pull out the mustard and ketchup. Okay. That's the sauce right there. <laughs> if only I could still enjoy um crab. I've been seeing people eating crab and I'd be like, oh I miss it. And we in business. Just a little bit. I'm missing some hush puppies though. 